Hummingbirds can land here, house finches can land here. You can get fancy and you can put something around the outside if you want. This is really simple and fun to do. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California and today I'm going to show you another fountain and this is so easy. All you need is a soda bottle. That's all you need. No trash cans, no buckets, no nothing. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to put this together using some tubing and maybe some rocks and of course you'll need a solar fountain kit. That is it. The birds love it. The house finches love it. And of course, the hummingbirds love it and even other birds too. Let's get right into how to make this so you can get this done and get this in your garden too because I absolutely love these and I'm making a ton of them. So to make this fountain, you're not going to need much at all. All you need is a bottle. And of course, you need the solar fountain kit. Maybe a couple rocks. You'll see as we go. Now what you want to do is cut the top part off. You'll see how I do it here and I want it to be straight. You know sometimes I don't make my line straight when I'm doing a fast project. Well this is how you can get it perfectly straight. You have your own way that's perfectly fine. I stick in a sharpie in a milk carton at the height that I need cut off from my soda bottle. Now I just spin the bottle. Yep I'm spinning the bottle and I end up with a perfect line all the way around. So when I cut it, it's gonna be exactly the way I want when I get to the other side. Now I use my soldering iron, you know how I love my soldering iron, to make a hole. That is just so I can get my scissors in. You could poke your scissors in and cut it that way, but I found that this is much easier. Now you just follow the line that you drew. Look at that. And it's gonna be perfect when you get to the other side, you're going to have a perfectly cut line. See? And that's how it's going to fit in. Now what I like to do with the hot soldering iron is to go around the cut edges. That will smooth it out so it won't be sharp. It works really good. If you've got another way of doing it, that's perfectly fine. But this really works and it's fast. It just, it kind of melts the edge a little bit so if a bird lands on it or you're handling it, the plastic is nice and smooth. Okay. Now we're taking the top off. Now what we're going to need to do, you'll see here, this is how it's going to sit in. See, and the water is going to come up and go back down, but we have to make sure it goes down into that bottle. So you're going to make as many holes as possible on the bottom there. See, this is the top part of the bottle. But that's going to be pointed down. This way when it fills, it goes straight down into the bottle. You don't want it to build up with water. The next thing is the hose, the tubing. Now here you see that I've already got the tubing set up and it's going onto the pump. And you can go back and see all my other videos, how I just snap it on. It just goes on to any solar fountain kit. And now you put your top on like that. This is the easiest thing to do. You're gonna love it when you see it. And there it is. Now of course it's too long and we're gonna trim it down. But that's how it's going to sit. I also like to make a little tiny notch on the top, see kind of a V shape. That's where your wire is going to sit from your solar panel. This way it won't move around, that's all. If you didn't do it, it would still work, but it, it kind of holds it snug. And then you just load it up with rocks. Now, I went around and collected rocks on my property and I washed them. I did go to the dollar store and look at them, but for some reason they had a warning that they were toxic. So I decided I would just collect my own rocks. You can use marbles, you could use whatever you want in there. Use something so this way when you want to take it apart and clean it, it's quick and fast. I took everything out real quick just to cut the hose and I decided to cut the smaller part of the hose. And I'll show you exactly how I did that in a few minutes. So this way the water that flows up will be slow so it won't splatter. And here I'll show you exactly how I did the hose. This is a big tube. This is a half inch tube. This is 5 sixteenths. I want to bring the water through there. So attach it through here and bring the water through there. I'm going to see if this will work, but I don't know. So this is totally an experiment, being that it's not under pressure. We want to do this carefully because we do not want to melt the plastic. We want to make sure we can attach the hose. We have to do this slowly.
I want it on the outside as well as the inside. You leave a little bulge along the top. And we gotta let this really cool. Now we just let this cool really good. And see how this works. Now it's done. I just filled it up with water, fresh water from the tap water. And look at that, is that gorgeous? And the panel is in the sun now. And look at that, I love it. What I decided to do here is take my soldering iron and make a hole on the plastic tubing on the top. That's the irrigation tubing. I'm using it all over the garden now. I love it. And I put a little perch in there. See how you make a hole and just slide it through. Now, we're going to have to cut it because if the water runs down, it could empty out. There it is. I cut it shorter than the bottle. This way, when it drips, it's dripping back into the unit itself and let me tell you something it stays full all day and if it's hot you can always toss in some ice that's all there is to it and it works beautiful so fun so the water dripping down the stick is dripping back in the unit the unit is there it'd be good if you can get a container that is solid this way you can see how it works the motor is down there there's the pump it's attached to this pipe this is an irrigation pipe and then there's the panel is that too cute? Hummingbirds can land here, house finches can land here. You can get fancy and you can put something around the outside if you want. This is really simple and fun to do. And you can sit this anywhere, easy to clean. You saw how fast it went together. So this is just totally portable, so easy. You can make them as gifts. All you need is a soda bottle. You can use a colored soda bottle and you can use almost any bottle. Once you analyze how to put this together, the birds love it. Now, I've only had it out for a few days, and I know that this is going to be one of the favorites in the garden because all the birds have been coming to check it out, and of course the hummingbirds too. And you can put them inside a vase. You can put them inside a flower pot. You can kind of decorate them up a little bit. I just wanted you to see how easy it is to make, how beautiful it looks when it's clear, and how beautiful it looks when you've got it sitting on a patio or a deck. It's so small, so compact, so easy to take care of. And like I said, on a hot day, drop in a couple ice cubes. And I'm telling you, the birds will really appreciate a nice cool drink. And the little birds can come take a bath too. I hope you so enjoyed this because this has been, again, one of my favorites. So easy to make and I absolutely love it. And I hope you will too. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And make some water features for the birds because let me tell you, they can sure use some water. And it will be greatly appreciated by them.